You are just O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge inflates with pride, but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he doesn't yet know as he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So about the eating of meat sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no idol in the world, and there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords. Yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all things are and from whom we exist, <coughs> and one Lord Jesus Christ through whom all things are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry up until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience, which is weak, is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to destruction, the brother of for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brothers and wound their conscience, weak as they are, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause my brother to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Probe me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if my way is crooked and lead me in the ways of old. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Our 
Alleluia, alleluia. If we love one another, God remains in us, and His love is brought to perfection in us. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back, then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful, and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured in your lap. For the measure which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Pope John the 23rd said, when we love, we forgo. I think these words from the Pope gives us a sort of reminder that truly love counts nothing. The famous maxim that we always hear, love is blind, may connote not just simply maybe about physical blindness or what we call external things that we become blind when we love, but in the Christian sense, maybe love is blind because love erases everything. And precisely this is what the Lord Jesus would want us to experience. The total Christian renewal is for us to change certain perspective in our own way, to see each and every one not with condition, but with the love, the same as what the Lord Jesus has loved us. And practically, when we become followers of our Lord Jesus, we also move and walk according to that path. That is why when Jesus said in our gospel today, which is very heavy laden with lots of moral principles, the Lord Jesus just simply tells us when we love our neighbor, we love for the sake of love because they needed the love. And thus, we must love those who are unlovable, those who are not being recognized or probably those who have not totally experienced being loved. Because Jesus did not only emphasize about the meritorious thing that we're going to do, but it is because it is the most Christian way of loving. 
when we are able to love, for example, the, our enemies, those who hurt us, those who condemn us, these are basically the things that we may also ask the Lord in our own lives. In our own human way, perhaps we have also mentioned this in our confessions. The things that we hated to other people are also the things and the weakness that we may have also committed within our own selves. And thus, in our own human way of looking at it, it is not just to simply claim merits to it, but it is because of our claim that we are weak as well, that sinful as we are, we must forgive one another. And in the end, the Lord concluded our gospel by telling us that gifts will be given back to us, a good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured down into our own lap. And what kind of gift is this? I think the gift is when we love unconditionally, we will also experience how it is to be loved unconditionally. And that is practically the gift, the gift of peace of mind, the gift of the experience of reconciliation, and of course, the experience of the divine love because we have practically followed how it is to love the way Jesus has loved us. Let us now turn to God the Father for the help that we need to follow the example of Jesus who tells us that we are to love our enemies. That the leader of the church may give witness to their people in the ways of pardon, love, and forgiveness, and so reflect God's holiness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who are angry and bitter with their neighbors may realize that giving in to feelings of resentment and hatred only separate them from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that families who are divided and torn apart because of indifference toward one another may restore their former closeness and warmth. Let us pray to the Lord that the sick may attain the peace of mind which grows from appreciating their special role in joining Christ in his suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the dead may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For Margaret Jason, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. For the names and petition written in our book of prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. And also in thanksgiving for the gift of life, of Lita Helano, we pray to the Lord. God, our Father, you know what is good for us. Read our hearts of all bitterness and bless our efforts to love all people. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have this bread we offer you, which is just given, and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have this wine we offer you, where the divine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual treasure. Pray, my dear brethren, my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, to give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race and so forth through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that your creatures serve you and all the redeemed praise you. And all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. A full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed only O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, to the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be 
coerce to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your we offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Thank you. 
request. The bar request. The The body of Christ. 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 As you go to the sick and the homebound, take with not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of the parish community. As the prayers of those to whom you visit and return, go now in God's peace and blessing. Soul of Christ, sanctify me, Father of mercy. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, heal me. With the wounds I bear. Separate from you, let me never be. And the evil one protect me. The honor of my death.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us now pray to Our Lady during this time of pandemic. O Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Heavens and Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us in the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Mass has been offered when we go in the peace and love of Christ.